Well, good morning. It's day two is done. It's actually the morning of day three. And we got, got a lot of progress made yesterday. The octopus team were here all day um, till about nearly five o'clock. Uh, they just worked solidly throughout the day. And uh, I've got to say, they made a lot of progress. So as you can see, the heat pump is on its base. Um, there's a nice gravel trap now built so that any condensation will drain away through the gravel. We've just got to replace a few bricks around there. The cabling on the wall behind it, so the electrical cabling that runs all the way up to the top there, is all nicely put into place. And we're starting to see more cabling in a duct coming down that will run into the back of the heat pump. Let's head around to the other side of the heat pump and we can actually see there where the, uh, the two pipes will come out. And again, they will just run following that duct straight up the wall and that will give us our hot and cold returns. The electrical wiring is all now in place and the consumer unit is underneath this plastic bag. So obviously it doesn't get wet overnight while they finish off the work on that. So the electrician's got all of the cabling into place and that will all get livened up once the heat pump has been commissioned. So let's head into the house and I'll show you some of the things that have happened inside. So we got three of the radiators installed yesterday. Um, this is the first of them. This is a double radiator. So this is the same thickness as our previous radiator. Um, you can see in the top that there's two sets of vanes. Um, it is a little taller, so it gives us more surface area for the heat to come off. We head into the lounge, and uh, apologies for the dog beds, but they're all living in here while the work's happening in the other rooms. Um, we've actually got a triple. So inside the top of the radiator here, I don't know if you can actually see that, but there are three veins. So again, the radiator in here is a lot thicker than the original. The original was a single pane, but it was about it was about the width of two of the two of the sets of panes that are in there. So the radiator in here is probably another maybe four to five centimetres thicker than the old radiator, uh, but it's actually a little narrower as well. So if we take a look in the airing cupboard, you can see we have the new cylinder in, and it's a lot taller than the existing cylinder. In fact, just to give you an idea of how tall the new cylinder is compared to the old one, the old cylinder didn't really reach the top of the eddy, which you can see on the left-hand side there. So it's probably another 40 centimetres maybe taller than the existing cylinder. And then as we go up, you can also see we've got a, a buffer cylinder of some type above that. I'm not exactly sure what that does. I'll have to ask the plumber once he's got it all in place. But the cylinder is getting close to being livened up and hopefully we'll be able to start heating some water in it by the end of today. So as you can see, we no longer have a water tank and it's given us a lot more space. So normally there'd be a big water tank here plus the header tank for the, uh, for the old system. So once they're finished in here, we can get the rest of this boarded out and it should give us a lot more space. So after two days of not having a shower, I took the option of taking a bucket full of warm water into the shower and having a good clean last night. So needs must, I think is the phrase that I would use, but it was certainly nice to get cleaned up even if we didn't have a shower. So that's it for day two. Um, apologies, I'm being attacked by the dogs again. Um, day two, we got a lot of work done. Looking forward to day three, looking forward to some hot water. Um, we did pick some rather cold days to be without heating and hot water, but we'll survive. I hope these are useful. Um, I see you guys left a whole lot of comments yesterday. I hopefully I've got back to all of you. But if you do have questions, do hit me up in the comments. I will answer as many of them as I possibly can. With that, I'll sign off and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.